Well, hello everyone and welcome back. This is a little uh, two-piece uh, video here today. The first piece is going to be partially sun-grown bananas, musabajus versus shade-grown bananas, musabajus, and just the difference between the two and what you can expect by planting uh, in either location. And then the second piece to this is going to be just a fall update and uh, first frost alert if you will here so uh, we'll get started these are uh, my partially sun-grown bananas and what I mean by that is they're in the sunniest part of my yard that I could have them in and they get about four to six hours of sunlight in the summertime uh, coincidentally enough they're actually getting more now in the fall as the Sun is lower it actually um, is under more of the um, tree canopy here uh, but uh, in the summer, four to six hours, typically from about noon to four, is when they would see the most sun. So that is not very much. Um, I think these bananas would actually be much taller and thicker and uh, heartier if they were in more uh, sunlight. But that's what I have to work with. And just how big these things are. Um, let me show you the, uh, the stem there. Uh, this, they have pups on them that are almost six feet tall, which is pretty cool. Actually, you're looking at one right here. Um, <laughs> the pups really just came on in the past month and a half. But, uh, yeah, so from the, uh, from the first piece of mulch there up until kind of where the leaves start is right there. It's about five feet. And then you got about another five feet from the, uh, where the leaves start all the way or start splitting off all the way up until kind of the final leaf crown, if you will. And then the, the leaves themselves are five feet. Um, and that's a true measurement. Um, this one here ripped off, fell off in a big windstorm that we've had this fall. And I actually measured it and it was exactly five feet. So it wasn't the biggest one, but it was one of the biggest ones. So 15 feet, I mean, these things are massive. This is exactly what I was hoping for when I planted them in mid-May. So I got exactly what I was looking for. Um, yeah, tons of growth. Just a really great overall tropical look to, to what I was wanting. And, uh, and they all did really well. Uh, so 15 feet is, uh, is what these are from the, the base of the mulch until the top of the top most leaf. And uh, um, yeah, so really, really happy about that. That is the partially shade grown banana. Now let's take a look at the full, I'm, I'm sorry, that's the partially sun grown bananas. And we're looking here at the almost full shade grown bananas. Of course, it has sun on it right now. And that's just because of the winter or the, uh, the fall sun. But in the summer, these things get basically no sunlight at all. Um, and they are about five feet tall and actually they don't have a single pup so not a single pup on this um, where, <laughs> whereas the other ones that get partial sun have pups that are taller than this um, all the same species all bought from the same place at the same time and went in the ground on the same day as I get pelted by acorns and leaves and branches it is a mighty mighty windy day here um this fall has been extremely windy and uh and none of my bananas actually were cut up at all until the past week and now they're just getting slaughtered by the wind but so yeah that's what you can expect 3x 3x if you grow your bananas in the sun uh versus in the shade you're looking at about a 3x growth rate so yeah just pretty cool experiment I won't do that again. I'm gonna dig these out and put them somewhere else because that I don't need five foot bananas. That's crazy. Uh, but then, yeah, for the weather update, uh, today is Monday, October 17th, 2022 in the afternoon. And we're sitting at 47 degrees right now and it is windy. Um, and the first frost is said to be coming on Thursday morning. Uh, I think they're talking about 31 degrees on Thursday morning, which I think would be October 20th. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we will see if that happens. Um, obviously, we have not gotten frost yet. And this is very 
uh, typical, normal, and average uh, for this location. Mid to late October is usually always the first frost date, and that is going to hold true again this year. Um, just been an average year in, in terms of temperature. And uh, so we'll expect to see that again in terms of the average uh, first frost date. So it's coming this week and uh, stay tuned. I got some updates planned. I've done some things here in the garden that I think uh, people will be interested in. And uh, I'll update you later this week with that information. And I'll get a full stat on uh, the growing days that we had here in Cincinnati uh, once that comes to an end later this week. But thanks for watching and we'll talk soon. Prime time peak uh, fall foliage color season right now.